Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to fix Twitch TV lag once and for all. This tutorial will contain several solutions, one of them will work for you, I'm sure of it. You can pick which one you like best, let's go. Before we start out, you will want to visit www.speedtest.net and check your speed. If you have 10 Mbps download speed, you are able to watch almost any stream in source quality. If you're lower than that, you might struggle with some streams. If you are below 5 Mbit, you might not be able to watch streams in high or source quality. So please be aware that the issue might be a slow internet connection. Only you can fix that by requesting a faster connection from your internet service provider. Make sure to check out all the solutions before you decide which one you want to try first. If it works instantly, you're good to go and you save yourself some serious effort. Solution 1. Twitch Server Switcher The Twitch Server Switcher is the most comfortable solution on the list. First of all, you will want to download the .crx file from the link provided to you in the description and put it anywhere on your computer. After that, navigate to your Google Chrome browser and click the three horizontal lines in the top right corner. Then go to More Tools and select Extensions. Now you navigate to the folder where you saved your CRX file and simply drag and drop it into your Google Chrome browser. When it asks you whether or not you want to install it, accept. Now you can go to Twitch TV, just as you are used to, and select the stream you want to watch. If you experience lag or stuttering, simply click on the icon in the top left of your screen and select a different server. Where it is matters very little. Enjoy. Solution 2. Tarts Player Tarts Player enables you to watch any stream on your computer without having to use a browser at all. It's not resource intensive at all compared to Chrome. That's a great argument for the solution. The first step is downloading Tarts Player from Tarts.net. It's the official website for this tool. Only use this website to download it. After you are done downloading, move the file to your preferred location and right click it. After that, select Unzip here and navigate into the Tarts Player folder. Start TartsPlayer.exe and enter the name of your favorite streamer into the channel field. Make sure to only use their name though, a URL won't work. Then click load, select your desired quality and click watch. I personally experience a little stuttering after starting the stream, it usually resolves in time though. Solution 3. Live Streamer Live Streamer works similar to Tarts Player but is console based and has way better customization options than both the standard Twitch and Tarts Player. You are able to adjust the sound, use equalizers and customize your experience to whatever you want it to be. This is my personal favorite. Installation is very simple. Navigate to the VLC Media Player download page and go to the Live Streamer download page as provided in the description and download both tools. Install the VLC Media Player and make sure to use the suggested installation path on both programs, otherwise you will have to go through customization later on. Afterwards install Livestreamer, leave all three boxes checked and done. Now you can start watching streams. To do this open your window search and type in CMD. Use the first result you get. In the console you will want to write Livestreamer and one space followed by the URL of your desired Livestream, another space and your desired quality. You can choose between audio, mobile, low, medium, high and source. Mobile being the worst quality and source the best. Alternatively you can type in best or worst. If you still experience stuttering after this go to your search bar again, type in percentage, app data percentage and press enter. Scroll down until you find the live streamer folder. Enter it and open the file livestreamerrc. Select open with and select your editor. Scroll down to the very end of the text and type in HLS minus segment minus threads equals 10, then press enter and type in HDS minus segment minus threads equals 10, as provided in the description. After that it worked in 10 out of 10 times. If you're still experiencing problems, feel free to ask me for help in the comments. If the tutorial helped you, please let me know which method you used and if it still works and leave a like if you want. I upload a lot of different tutorials, so if you want to optimize your online experience and find helpful tips and tricks, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.